Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Monday, July 2nd, the 19th day of Tammuz. Here we go. During the three weeks when we observe sadness and no haircuts and no weddings, etc., it is permissible for you to cut your nails. Okay? Uh, that's totally allowed. But during the Shvua Shechal Bo Tishabav, the week in which Tishabav actually occurs, then uh, then you should try not to cut your nails. Unless, like this year, when uh, the Shvua Shechal Bo Tishabav is really kind of like, it's, you know, we're going to be commemorating Tishabav on a Sunday. So most of the poskim say that on the Friday, which would be a, a nail cut for the honor of Shabbos, so, and it's not really, really in the week of Tisha B'Av, which we're going to be commemorating on that uh, Sunday. So, bottom line is, if you want to cut your nails for the honor of Shabbos, right before the Shabbos, before Tisha B'Av, that would be allowed. Now, this next halacha is uh, going to sound a little strange, but you know, uh, way back when, hundreds of years ago, uh, parents used to uh, scold their children by hitting them. Uh, teachers used to scold their students by hitting them. And the halacha always was that no hitting was allowed during the three weeks. It's a time fraught with danger for the Jewish people, and therefore it's frowned upon. But, you know, nowadays it's frowned upon, period, and no one does it much at all anymore. Anyway, <laughs> but I'm just telling you the law. That we, you know, you could still see the, the general point to all of us is that do not be involved in dangerous things during the three weeks, uh, anything that could bring you to, God forbid, more likely to damage, try not to be involved in that during the three weeks. On Shabbos Chazon, that's the Shabbos right before Tisha B'Av, the Haftorah is given to the rabbi of the shul, most commonly, and the Haftorah is read in the Eicha tune. And then when Tisha, when the nine days actually arrive, uh, when Av arrives, the month of Av, the, uh, it's about two weeks away from now, then we have a rule called Mishanichnas Av Mematin Besimcha. When uh, the month of Av arrives, we uh, decrease our happiness. It's not an auspicious time for the Jewish people. If you have a lawsuit uh, scheduled for anywhere in that time, we try to postpone it all the way out of the month of Av. If you can't postpone that lawsuit or test or difficult thing out of the month of Av, you should at least postpone it out of the nine days because that's not an auspicious time for the Jewish people. Um, if you want to purchase uh, objects of Simcha, like uh, you know beautiful silverware or something, that should wait until after the nine days. Uh, generally, construction of Simcha uh, should be uh, delayed until after the nine days. If it's something just strictly, strictly for uh, making your house livable, but not really for the simcha of the matter, then you could speak to your rabbi. That might be permissible. But uh, painting, decorating, those kinds of things, that should be delayed, if possible, until after the nine days. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.